Uh, was the Batgirl movie too out of line with their plans or was it just as bad as it? Now, I like what Brendan Fraser said because um, I they said they made the movie. So I was, oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression that it was Final Cut. But from what we're hearing, it was director's cut. Usually when the director shows the first cut, the special effects aren't ready. And uh, some scenes are either, um, uh, what's it called, uh, matte shots or they're uh, mm -hmm. animatics. Yeah. So you're not actually getting the full thing. He recently even said, I don't eat a half-baked cake. And that's what they showed these people. And they went, oh, it's unreleasable. If it was the first director's cut, uh, releasable, you don't release the first cut. To be fair, though, I've seen I've seen first cuts they released before too. In other movies, didn't really didn't bother, bother, bother me that no bother me that much because it was still a complete story. Okay, they didn't. Uh, good observation. It's possible him being reverse flash. It's possible. It's a theory, obviously. So and and it's put out there just so we could have the discussion slash debates uh, slash argument. You're giving them too much credit, Englantine. I, I I have hope. <laughs> yeah, uh, I. I, I think that basically sums up our disagreement is Anglantine is willing to keep giving them credit. And I'm just like, I was willing to give you credit like three and a half soft reboots ago. You've, you, you, yeah. you've run aground on my credit, sir. I, I want to like every, I want to like every Marvel, every independent and every DC superhero movie I see. Oh, and by the way, to uh, the guy who put on the, uh, uh, on my comment section, you act like we never got superhero movies before. You have no fun no! talking about, you freaking ignorant. I'm this age, and I know we got superhero movies in the 80s. We got three, maybe four. The amount of movies we are able to get now versus the superhero movies we got in the 80s and the 90s, go f yourself. Ne never, never mind the quality difference. Because you know they yeah. had to un they had to remove any comic book stuff from old yeah. comic book movies where yeah, possible. the first Punisher movie only had a skull on his knife, not the shirt. It turned into mar modern Marvel thirty years beforehand. Uh, no, the 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 difference between the superhero movies we used to get before and the amount of superheroes we're getting now is the difference between shooting a gun and throwing a bullet. It is not the same freaking thing. They're all computer graphics now. Before it was just a guy a punch, and you saw you saw uh, equi the equivalent of movies back then was uh, Adam West Batman. Okay, can we stop dropping the f bombs? Uh, Moran says we'll try, we'll try. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's too late already. Yeah, it's, so it's mostly Anglin team this time. I, I know. Didn't I'm, do just, it. I'm wired up, guys. I'm wired <laughs> up. I'm trying to drink the water instead of the the Dr Pepper here and come down a little bit. You should drink um, some of the whole, that water from the Wire River. It's really good for you now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think the dark reverse flash is the other flash. He even has the yellow as a foreshadowing, says MK. Uh, yeah, that's true. His outfit when he's uh, when they meet outside the house. Uh, question. I'm just wondering, how do you feel about Supergirl being in the movie? Okay, fine. Why not? Bring her in. We, uh, we had Superman. I prefer Henry Cavill. Let's get this straight, but we have Supergirl. I hope she does. See how she does. My, here's my thing. I really don't have, hope they don't have her one punch Zod. I really do not. Uh, I, oh, but we do see the uh, <laughs> we do I, see the Flash doing that, and I'm so glad they add that in because one of my favorite scenes from the um, the JLA, the one with Jim Lee, the the New Fifty Two, is when Flash runs in and just bitch tosses Superman. He's got the the speed adds uh, would add. Uh, uh, momentum and that would add force density. behind his yeah. Yeah. punches and so on. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't want. I said, drinking I, strawberry, Dr. My, Pepper, and eating carbs. Yeah. I just don't want to marry Sue, uh, Supergirl. Well, here, here, here's the here's the thing, and here's why I'm frustrated about that. If you really wanted to leave Cavill out, just leave out super beings entirely, and and then we, uh, it, it, you know, have a respectful armistice. But instead, well, we get we get Supergirl. And here's the other thing. If this was the Supergirl that would be in the eventual Supergirl movie that James Gunn has planned, I'd be fine with that. Same thing with the Batman. If if this bat if, if the Batman we get in this movie was the Batman that was gonna be sticking around, that would be one thing. But so, my, my my frustration here is that is that we're getting this, we're we're not getting Cavill, and 
these aren't even the versions of the characters that are going to be in the new reboot. So what's the point? So like, in, the, in the trailer, uh, Ezra Miller's character Flash says, I created a world without metahumans. Yeah. like uh, so, Yeah. So there's so I, so I guarantee you the there's going to be no reverse Flash. It's to, and, to, if, if there, because there's a what, scene in the preview, though. I saw where where they're in the crime lab. And they recreate the lightning bolt. Yeah, the they're gonna they're, they're gonna give young. this new version of Barry his powers. It's is the, gonna it's be the one same of the main plots of the movie. As Wally West, basically, and so it looks it, like they're gonna would, do a power transfer. Yeah, but I don't think it's creating reverse Flash. He's just trying to save this universe that his mom's alive in. Okay. Um, and oh, here's the. Ahead, and then I'm gonna read a. Yeah, comments. here's the here's the other thing, and because I'm me, I have to mention this when. When that line came up in the trailer, I was like, well, you don't need metahumans. You have magic users, so why go. not use those? Um, Erica Boyd <laughs> says, when I first saw photos of this version of Supergirl, I was not impressed. I had negative opinions without truly knowing what was happening. I admit to being wrong, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, and the, here's here's some good advice for this. Whenever you see behind-the-scenes photos, you're not seeing the cinematography. You're not seeing the special effects. You're not seeing the lighting. You're not seeing everything that goes into actually making a movie. Worst context movie. possible is what you're yeah. getting there. Uh, here, it, and it would be like um, you can make a movie on your cell phone, but if you don't adjust the lighting, if you don't uh, adjust the cinematography to make, like if you ever notice like uh, a, a regular video doesn't seem to have that sheen that has uh, that's over a lot of movies, that's cinematography. If you don't uh, if you don't have that to it, it all looks flat and pale and not as exciting. So a lot of the backstage stuff where you'll see the black pills, and I've got to admit I've done it a couple of times too. Look how dumb this looks, or her. Uh, you're not getting the full shot. You're not getting it. Uh, so uh, always keep that. Um, always keep that in. Tevia, in Tevia, they've they've had to reshoot the thing like three or four different times, you know, like from the from the ground up. So if they wanted to include the stuff that is going to tie into James Gunn's new reboot, they would have by now. They've they've rebooted it or they've redone it from the ground up like five or six different times now. This movie has been supposed to be out like two years ago, wasn't it? At least. Yeah. yeah, and they had to reshoot basically the entire thing because they couldn't decide on what what direction they wanted to go with the continuity. Now, Tevi is uh, asking a, a good question. Um, he's saying, uh, England team, do you think that the Flash movie will succeed? I honestly do. I, I honestly think that the, here's here's one thing we all should keep in mind. I, I said this a long time ago, got railed for it. I mean, I got just everybody was like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, our uh, culture fight is not as pervasive as we think we are. We are in a bubble. And so it seems like it's huge. Now, granted, it's gotten bigger, sure. But I think the majority of people don't give two shits about what we all talk about all the time so i i have a feeling flash is going to succeed i really do um I, which I, actually i i you know what before ant-man comes out i would love to do a uh let's rank them kind of thing because i would love to there are i'm, I'm more excited about the flash and ant-man than i am about say uh what else what are the marvel is coming out i don't even remember. guardian three uh oh, the marvels yeah, um, I don't really care about that one. Thunderbolts. I don't really care about that one. Now, now when I say I don't really care about it, I'm going to go see it. Um, it's just that uh, you can baseline all superhero films. I'm going to see. I'm going to see the superhero movie because it's a superhero movie. I'm get, I want to support them so they keep making them. Um, so it, it's do, – does – what I see as we go on start to diminish it or start to raise it. I like, uh, I gotta say so far flash just grabbed me. I was like, yes, this is, this is gonna, this is looking really good. Ant-Man. I'm, I'm jazzed. I should have seen Ant-Man three weeks ago because now I, I, I every, they just want to show you more and more and more of the movie. I'm like, no, stop it. I've seen too much now. It's kind of getting to the point where I feel like I've already seen the movie. Stop it with the. What's the broccoli people? Exactly. Fla 